Interest only mortgages. Can you claim your repayments on your tax return? Hi, I'm Kimberly Shapcock, qualified chartered accountant, property investor and entrepreneur. Let's sit down and have a chat. Do you have an interest only mortgage? Well, if that's the case, then you can be claiming your interest on your tax return. You might go, but I thought I couldn't. The rules have changed. I agree, the rules have changed. But that doesn't mean that you can't claim anything anymore. It just means that you claim it in a different place. So can you be claiming your interest on your mortgage? Yes. If you are on an interest only mortgage, this makes it pretty straightforward because basically it will be the repayments that you're making as long as they are interest only. So what happens with those interest only payments? Well, the first thing is for that tax year that you are doing the tax return, you collate and you summarize what interest only payments you have made so that you know exactly what you're going to be claiming on your tax return. When you've got that total, that's the figure that we are going to be using to do our calculations. Now, to find out exactly how the calculations work, check out the section 24 example video, which will show you how the calculations fit together. The general premise of how it works is instead of before where you put interest within the expenses element of your calculation, so you'd have your rental income, your rental expenses, take off your mortgage interest, would give you your rental profits. And then you calculate tax to get to your tax figure. Well, unfortunately, that all changed. Now, what we have to do is we do our rental income, we do our rental expenses, we calculate what our tax bill is. So that's kind of where the difference starts, that we're now calculating our tax bill before then we're taking account of our interest. The people that this really affected were those that were very close to the higher rate tax threshold, so they may now be paying a little extra tax. However, if you are just a basic rate taxpayer, then you've got no issues, you're not going to be paying anything extra. It's probably just going to be calculated in a slightly different way. Because we've now got to our tax figure, and this is where our interest now comes into play. Because our interest comes into play as a tax credit, the interest rate relief tax credit, which is only at 20%. So if you're a higher rate taxpayer, additional rate taxpayer and paying tax at 40 or 45%, you're now going to only be getting 20% tax relief rather than 40%, which is why you end up maybe paying a little extra tax. But it doesn't mean to say that you're going to get no tax relief. It just means you're going to be getting slightly less than you were before. So this tax credit, so let's say you've got £2,000 of interest that you pay, you'll take 20% of that, so you'll get 400 pounds off your tax bill, which then gives you your actual tax liability of what you will have to pay to HM Revenue and Customs. Now, there are a few other tweaks, because it's never quite that simple to do these calculations, but check out the video on what it does um, have in all the different points of the calculation. But if you're trying to get a general idea of how it fits together, you're looking at 20% of the overall interest that you have been incurring. Now, because we are talking about interest, it would be negligent of me to not mention the other costs that fall within the finances cost side of things for your tax return. So check out the video on what we mean by finance costs if you want more information, but let's just cover the high level areas here so that you get a real idea of what we need to be thinking about. So I know on some interest only mortgages, sometimes you end up repaying early because there might be a better product or something changes and you need to be paying something back. So if you do end up paying any early repayment charges, they will fall into this finance element of your tax return, but they are allowable for tax purposes because the extra charges on that property, on that mortgage, on that investment. So that means you will be able to claim those early repayment charges and they will fall into this interest rate relief tax credit. So if you say pay 4,000 um, early repayment charges, you get a 20% tax credit on it, which would then go against your tax liability for that period. 
Other costs that we may need to consider are things like our broker costs, our product fees, our arrangement fees, the bank charges, all these different areas that if you are refinancing and you're looking at doing different things that you might actually find you incur during the tax year. So on that basis, these costs again all can be claimed, no issues whatsoever, it's just the fact that they will fall part of this 20% tax credit that will then need to be dealt with. As you can see, the tax rules have slightly changed, but you can still claim that interest. It's just it's claimed in a slightly different way and you can only get a 20% tax credit. So for those that are higher rate taxpayers, it is going to have an impact and it is going to mean that you're paying maybe a little more tax. But please do ensure that you are putting that interest on your tax return as it's definitely something that you can be claiming against your rental income. It's just not as a rental expense. It's in a slightly different box on the tax return. But it's very key that you do this because it will help you save some tax. Hopefully today you've discovered exactly what you can be claiming on your tax return in regard to the interest on your mortgage. If you've got any questions, then please do leave a comment. Please like the video and do subscribe to the channel. And let's make tax less taxing.